Uh, if you are tired of telemarketers calling, listen up. Today is the day a new law takes effect that requires written consent from you before a telemarketer can even call. NBC 5's Ken Kaltoff is live in Dallas. With the latest on this, so have they stopped calling you, Ken? Well, as a matter of fact, I received two of those calls yesterday, but I've received none today, so maybe the telemarketers are paying attention to this new law. We've all received those annoying calls and texts that might interrupt a nice dinner, and so has the expert I spoke with today about this new law. Dallas attorney Bob Miller is a former Federal Communications Commission attorney. I'm on a do not call list, my wife and I are, and we still tend to get calls. His practice involves consulting companies about the new law that he says came as the result of huge numbers of robo-telemarketing calls with big companies behind them. They can't do it anymore without your clear consent. They're going to have to conduct themselves and make sure that there are procedures in place, uh, either on their website or in texting. Telemarketers have been very crafty. To get you to answer, we've heard about some that disguise their caller ID. One used our NBC5 phone number, and we don't make telemarketing calls. Some companies may still try to skirt the new laws by calling from other countries. That's possible, but if, if there's a company here in the United States that's responsible for having um, activated those calls, that company still potentially could be liable. The Federal Communications Commission website is down. The FCC is closed for now because of the government shutdown. That's the agency to enforce these new rules. I don't think it will go away. I think it's, it's obviously a viable marketing tool for companies to do it. They're just going to be a little more restricted. Telemarketers and the FCC will likely stay in business and eventually you can file a complaint at the FCC's website once it's operating again if those telemarketers keep calling you without your permission. Fines range up to $1,500 per call. Reporting live in Dallas, Ken Kaltoff, NBC5. All right, thank you, Ken. Richard.